It just looks cool. Publish by Axis. So that's a hell of a side. Developed by Dream Loop. This is making sure this is coming through. This is the demo of Inescapable. No rules. No rescue. This say. Developed by Dream Loop Games. Published by Axis. Of all things, which is a really cool sign. Axis, of course, published the uh, the Spirit Hunter games, amongst others. And this, everything I've seen about this, seems to uh, compare it to like Danganronpa beats uh, Zero Escape. Who say it? Oh, you know. You know of this game? Cool. I say, it looks cool. It's uh, described as like a social thriller at a tropical island resort, so it's got the Dank and Rampa 2 vibes going on. Twisted reality TV show, heck yeah. Literal game show. Survive survived till the end of your stay, you win 50, 500 grand. If you survive. So, we've got that going for you. Social thriller set in a tropical island resort. You've been kidnapped and forced to participate in a twisted reality TV show with 10 strangers. At the end of the day, they'll each receive 500 grand if they survive. How much further will they go when you have the permission to ignore the rules? So, of course, we're told multiple narrative paths, character-driven story, hours of voice-acted dialogue, full-length original soundtrack with music from Zero Escape Shinji Hosoi, and Matthias Letaranta. So, really cool looking. Really cool. I'm gonna say, this, uh... Okay, we got the smartphone vibe going on here. Display help button, help! Tech speed, fast. Voice, grunt. Ambience music. Okay, very cool. So now. What do we say here? Let's dig in. Let me just make sure. Okay, that went up. All right, let us begin. No man is an island. Tie of itself. Every man is a piece of a continent, a part of the main. For Claude be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if a promontory were, as well as if a manner of thy friends were of thine own were. Any man's death diminishes me, as I am involved in mankind, and therefore never send to know from who the, for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. I completely botched any uh, poetic reading of that text from John Donne. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Oh no. My, my! And what a diverse cast! My, my. Who'd imagine it's for a basic bitch streaming service? Someone give us a trophy already! Say, sis, what do you think of them? Oh? Why? Wanna place a bet on who survives? Protect the world from devastation. To unite our peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. You don't think. <laughs> Let's not play favorites just yet. Our viewers can choose, and we'll go from there. 
Vote now on your smartphones. But we get to use the nukes, right? What? No, no nukes, no. Maybe later. No, not later. Fine! Lights! Camera! Action! No nukes, that's a step too far. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> you are... That is a dangerous attitude, but that sound like you had a hell of a lot of fun recording that. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. Never been outside the UK before. Unreal. See there. Keep the surprise secret, Musketeer. Which of the which of the three is organizing this? Which one are we surprising with this reunion? Of which of the three? It is. <laughs> oh. It's been so long. Too long. I wonder if they read the papers. Uh, I wonder what they think of me now. Oh? Blimey. Cox Y K S. I'm trying to read your uh, shirt says there. Yeah, let's turn off auto. Don't be so oh hello, you friends. Okay, that auto is going very fast. Let's play around with controls here. They understand. They won't care. How do I? Here's a helm system. MC's British, yeah. Seems to be a recurring theme here. System confirm cancel. Autoplay skip toggle UI. They understand they won't care. Right. I'll just be happy to see you. Okay, we won't auto right now. I can't get into settings right now. <laughs> just be happy to see you. I wonder if they all have a hand in this. The four musketeers, or maybe one of them. But who? If I knew, I could just drop a text telling them I'm on the telling them I'm on the bus. Ready to depart. Ready to see all of them again. I really miss Sam's parties. Always bringing the right games. Always with the yummy drinks. Man, he was always going. Never slowing down to think of the consequences. Guess I got over all the trouble he got us in. Without him, there wouldn't be many adventures to remember. He and Nene were like night and day, yet they got along great. Nene has always been a scholar. I wonder what she's doing now. I think uh, calling her Scholar Musketeer again would make her smile. She'd always protest against her title, saying she didn't like to study. But she loved those detective novels. She was smart, and not just mathematically. I think she was the smartest of us all. I'm certain all of us were too, too shy to say it. <laughs> Maybe uh, a bit envious. I don't think Katie would admit it. Even Not even now. I think that's the first thing I'll tell her, though. Mindeth boss musketeer, remember'st thou art adventures of old? I think without her, the musketeers would have never... I should have stood up more. Oh? Learn to lead like her. Katie was the leader. Katie departed. The group fell apart. But I was just a boy back then. Anyway. Hmm. Excited to see the past brought back together. One of them is behind this trip. I text one of them. Tell them I'm on the bus heading here. A calculated guess. Uh, but I could get it wrong. Blow the surprise. Should I? Hmm. Scholar Musketeer. Katie, the boss Musketeer. Sam, the party Musketeer. Why can't I? Hmm. You know what? Let's text uh, Katie. Why not? I'm on my way. We need to talk. Finally. 
Weren't we supposed to depart already? Sitting in the passenger seat for once is nice. This is a Denny for sure, but uh, Mata. OMG. Uh oh. This is like so awesome. <laughs> oh no. She seems excited. Oh, who is that behind her, though? I wonder if she's with that big man. I wonder what he's cooking back there. Other tourists, I bet. I wonder if we're going to the same hotel. Oh my god! I love your hair! Uh oh, she jumped to sit next to that short girl with pigtails. What a sour face she's making. Not a fan of this new acquaintance. Big man's taking a seat at the back. Maybe they weren't together. Uh oh. They finally closed the doors. Guess we're ready to go. Soon I'll be with my friends. My true friends. I just hope. Uh huh? Oh no! Gas? What's going on? I. What? What happened? Where am I? What is this place? It's pitch black. I can't see a thing. My phone. That's a flashlight. Here. Wait. This isn't my phone? But it unlocks with my fingerprint. What's going on? Never mind that. The flashlight. Uh, here we go. I'm... Inside some sort of metal box? The bus and the gas. I lost consciousness in that bus. I'm in a metal box. I have to get out of here. Oh. Oh, now we are, uh... Okay, now we have UI settings. Dialogue lock. Okay, now we've got the now we've got our interface. Contestant ID, hashtag Harrison. There she is, unknown. Hmm. Messages. Dialogue log. Okay. Kind of sort of got a uh, investigative scene here. The box opens from this side. It's supposed to be one of those, uh, what do you call them? Shipping containers? The handle's not moving. What's this? A display screen of some sort. Tap to attempt to unlock is written on the screen. What's going on? There's nothing else I can do. Here goes, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, hacking mini games. Ooh! Oh, that's clean. It sounds like it's open now. Seriously, what have I got myself into? Please, whatever is going on? So bright. Pro gamer? Pro gamer, Red. Oh no, we are in the jungle. So warm. Tropical trees, vines, and bushes. Am I still in Spain? Hey, hey. oh, hello. I like your hair. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Don't scare me like that. Oh, same goes for you. Sorry. She was on the bus. Oh, you were. You were sitting a few rows behind me. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine, I think. You were on that bus too. Means we're in the same boat. Figuratively and literally. Huh? You and me, we've both been kidnapped. Uh, kidnapped? That makes sense. We didn't end up here by ourselves. Someone's behind all this. The shipping container, the gas, and the bus. 
the, the bus. I was gonna go meet my friends. Hey, look at me. It's okay. The situation is bad, but let's try to stay calm, yeah? My name's Maria, but everyone calls me Mia. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I'm Harrison. Mia? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Harrison. This might be a weird question, but do you have a phone? Uh, I do, but... It's not your own? Uh, yeah, I've never seen this phone before. We're British. It unlocks with your fingerprint? We are quite British, Red. You missed the, uh... You missed the ominous uh, British villain monologue at the very start before we got into this. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. With a very impressive, uh, very impressive villain laugh. <laughs> that was a good shit. Moreover, you can't call for help either. Uh, I can't call for help. I didn't even think to try. It appears these phones can't call any numbers. Why give us phones that can't make calls? Why give us phones in the first place? I think we'd better try to find the others. The others? Oh. Now that Mia says it, there are several shipping containers nearby. All of them seem to have their doors open. Yeah. Seems we're the last two to come out. I believe the rest are here somewhere. Just airdropped onto the island. The rest? OMG! This is like so awesome! You mean others from the bus? We all got kidnapped. I think so. The number of the containers match. Congrats on coming out. Yeah. Looking out, I see one, two, three, eleven shipping containers. Hmm. So you're going to look for the others? Yeah. You're welcome to tag along. I wouldn't like to go alone. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. <laughs> Thank you, Harrison. Good time, yeah. Where to? I noticed a cleared path when I was looking around. There's a sign, too. It says resort in English. Oh. Huh? Uh, can you show me? It's about 10 meters down the beach. This way. Resort? 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 Yeah, that's a resort. I see footprints in the sand leading to the jungle. It looks like a way to get to the beach and the resort if we are to believe the sign. Missing a trick if we don't call this the the last resort. Bloody hell, she's quick to check out the scene. The jungle's pretty dense, but it's certainly a beaten path. The jungle's pretty dense, but so am I. There's an opening ahead. I can see it. Oh. Uh, a pool. And people. OMG, no freaking way! <laughs> Even more people? Party! <laughs> Kidnapping is certainly interesting in this day and age, uh, if it involves parties. Hello there. WTF, I didn't mean a literal party, lol. Oh my god. It, I recognize some of these faces. Even the redhead, she was on the bus. That makes, including me, 11 people. Welcome to the abduction hotel! <laughs> My name is Isaac. I am your local guide. Uh, uh, Are you excited for your new adventure? So it's confirmed. We've been abducted, as I suspected. They seem unfazed by this ordeal. Are they victims or enemies? Oh, yes. I'm Ava. <laughs> you probably totally know me from my Bible meme, lol. Uh, hmm, hmm, unfortunately. What's with her? She's a living beam making faces. Beam based personality is going to get old fast. Yeah, you're the cape up my face, girl. <laughs> it's like meeting a celebrity. Oh dear. <laughs> celebrity. Ragazza. I'm Maria, but do call me Mia. This is Harrison. He was the last one. Huh? No, 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 no! Don't put me in the spotlight like that. Uh, hi, uh, Harry. I don't want to be a. I don't want to be associated with you. Giovanni Lombardi. Pleasure, pleasure. Okay, I do want to be associated with you. Yes. I can't believe this is happening. We're doing abduction intros. Big guy. I remember him from the bus. We told each other our names when we got together. Don't be shy, boy. Meet the rest. I, yes, sir. No. Wait, not to be rude, but shouldn't we focus first on what's going on? Why we're here? 
Who kidnapped us, maybe? Is everyone here against their wishes? And was everyone on the bus? Confirmed. Oh, hello. Yeah. Wish they also abducted my bikes, too. Uh, abducted his bikes? What? The bus was probably a setup then. Any contact with who did this? Idea what they want? Not yet. However, once the abductors contact us, I advise everyone to follow along as you are told. Buy time, but do not resist. What? Hmm. No, we should. We should do what the police would do. Fight back. That's that's that that is not what the police would do. Uh, I don't think I so. Think? My goodness. Well, I'm not seeing alerts, but uh, I think uh, it seems weirdly collected. How can these people be so calm? Paid actors? Please, please, please! I want to go home. This can't be happening to me. I can't be the only one who's freaking out. Didn't catch your name, Miss Valerie Dolion. My pleasure. Oh, Valerie, ma'am, you seem very composed. It seems like this is a situation. Oh, hi! I forgot. I'm done. S sorry, a bit frazzled. I should say. <laughs> well. Summarize my thoughts. Uh, Valerie seems like if I had to make a. A uh, gross, reckless speculation. Valerie is rich. It's a rich family. Possibly faced with the uh, kidnapping for ransom scenarios in the past before. And Don. You, you're a bit frazzled. Not well. <laughs> yes. You forgot you're Don. Hey, no worries. I sometimes forget I'm Mia. What? I think she's trying to cheer him up. I can't check how weird it is that everyone's kind of calm, but I guess... Uh, I mean, it's not... It's understandable. It's not, uh... Should I call you Dawn? I mean, absolutely. I don't know how much time passed between each container opening and this gathering. And I, I, I suppose it, it's... It is easier to remain calm when the threat is not immediately present. Let's be real. <laughs> nah, name's Don. I'm Don. Yeah. But if you're Don and I'm Don, then uh, who is driving the car? Also, thank you, Dream Loop Games, for the follow. Lumi. I see you, Lumi. Hello. I was not done talking. But who is phone? Oh. Annie is Annika. Uh, hello. Annie is a bit scared. Oh. Uh. Excuse me? Yeah? Yeah? Here that Annie is Annika. Annie is from Sweden. Annie is 20 soon. Annie likes Fika and Gordis. Uh, are you alright? Why are you... Is Annie alright? Huh? You do what? Mm, she was like that when I got here. I didn't break her, lol. One could only guess why the woman refers to herself in the third person. Intriguing, however. Something I could adopt myself. Okay, Shadow Knife. Isaac likes the grandeur of it. Oh God. Uh, okay. Um, what about you two? He's pointing at the grumpy-looking woman and the short uh, guy. Remember them on the bus? Maybe they were there too. Francisca. Oh. Knock. Knock. Uh, this is Hunter, kind of weird person. Doesn't like fries. You'll get used to that. Trust me. Doesn't like fries. Uh, who's Hunter? They told me their name's Dick. What? It's both. Dick Hunter? Oh, already calling me names? Dick move if you ask me, Blondie. Uh. <laughs> Miss, that's not what I meant. Pranks in this situation? How demented. Who should we call you then? Yelling works. My hearing's kind of bad, so don't whisper. Why you move the ocean name? Give real name. Why so hard? Big gas got to him in the bus. Thinks he's neither girl nor boy. I call him boy. He looks boy. Uh. <laughs> Boomer. You think I can afford a gender in this economy? What are, what are you talking about here? Uh, Mr. Swiftgram, they just don't want to be stereotyped. What's so effing hard? Uh, honestly. Oh, they're non-binary. Yeah. Talking character. Oh, he's going to think about it. Uh, 
people see. Oh, that's what you just made out of it. It's like, like she's at some con. This dude's wearing a sporty suit. Mr. Edgelord Eric. Yep. Can't be arsed with stereotypes and expectations. You're clearly a Linux user, so I can respect you. I'm curious if they're a boy or a girl. Let's not draw on that. But I guess that defeats the point. I shouldn't really think like that. There they. Could you give us a name, please? Huh? Don't. Oh. Ringing. The phone. Rather, everyone's phones are ringing. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're all answering. Guess I'm answering, too. Oh, hello. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Did you actually kidnap us? WTF? Where are we? What do you want with us? Uh, I've got some questions too. Uh. Please, one at a time. Settle down and don't talk over each other. I did prepare an intro speech. I would not like it to go to waste. Let's look at the big picture. Shall we? we need to follow the agenda of our uh, outlook calendar here. Naomi De Winter. You lucky few have been chosen from among many people we've been shadowing. All right. Lucky few. Your current location is tropical paradise. Okay. As you've already noticed, you are in a resort. We'll go over the facilities later. You'll be participating in a show. Because of its nature, your participation is involuntary. Hence the kidnapping! You got it? Yes, ma'am! This show's purpose is to show human nature unrestrained by laws and regulations. Imagine that one time when you wish you could have just punched someone! Now you can! <laughs> Our viewers on the internet will observe you over the course of the next six months. <laughs> the current day six months? Is Your phones are accurate. March 11th. 2018 is your last day on this island. Well, damn. So that means for half a year, you're stuck here with no rules. There's no rules. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I can already give you some ideas. Bust out the news. <laughs> this is totally not the kind of show I was promised. Like, reach a contract. What kind of show were you promised? I can't do this. I have a competition to attend to. Half a year. No, please. I have siblings I must take care of. <laughs> Chaos again. Can't blame them for yelling for answers. Maybe we should ask something too? <laughs> Not the nukes! Five hundred thousand. That's my salary for twenty years. But alive. Alive? Hello? What? I can't make videos, Dad. You're crazy if you think we'd kill just for five hundred k. My assets are worth more than five hundred k, as you are undoubtedly aware. Yes, thank you, Valerie. I would like to purchase our liberation for seven hundred and fifty k per head. Wow! Goddamn. You rich. Well, all right. B, it ain't that bad. There's a deal. There's be a cast of all this. Is it even worth losing six months of my life? And intervention would involve blackmail. Or nukes. You might not have rules, but we still want to make it worth it for the viewers. There will be no videotapes to drive you, but we encourage unlawful behavior. All right, get 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 your uh, get your. Uh, Redeems ready, yeah. Our intervention depends on the magnitude of your non participation. Get your, get your donations ready to reach the uh, donation incentives for. What's the donation incentive level for the, nu for the nukes, Naomi? Dirty, and we'll even give you luxury shit. This is 
Over the top. I purchased a luxury item. A lu I purchased a deserted island and uh, opened up my own resort and airdropped to uh, all people here. Oh, Annie has a few questions. I would like to inquire about a few things too. Yeah, questions. Blah blah blah. You've got big and white. <laughs> I'm thriving off your powerful energy, Naomi. For the next six months, not just for calling each other. All right. I suggest you keep them charged and in good condition. And that's how we keep in touch with all that jazz. That and all the cameras. I noticed a few cameras here and there myself, but now that they mention it, it's like there's one in every corner. We get Netflix. You also need the phone to open your room. Okay. Not only to enter, but also to exit. That's how we ensure you don't leave your phone inside. I mean, that makes sense. You'll find shared toilets in the hotel and the restaurant and in an undisclosed room. Secret toilets? Toilets? You've got to be shitting me. What about showers? The shower room is shared and does not require phone access. There are also showers by the pool and in an undisclosed Top secret showers. What? Showers? Tell agree. Absolutely barbaric. Yeah, Annie has a lot to clean. Uh, weird. Whatever, you'll survive. Maybe. <laughs> nice shirt, by the way. Murder. The other shed rooms are in the restaurant or bar and the kitchen. More will unlock later. So yeah, here's our here's our host here's our host's twin. In person. Secret toilets. Naomi has one mood, and that's outright rage. I love that. There's no rules! Breaks the cameras. There's one rule! Structure. Oh? Is the water drinkable? What can you tell us about the pipeline and electricity? Sounds like you're planning to stay. <laughs> Clever. No, the water is not drinkable. If you run out of bottled water, you must boil it. We would also need a filter. Mm. Survivalist. Alright. <laughs> Alright. So I had to ask what with, but he wrote it on the phone. It had better be about facilities and not some other shit. Can we negotiate, please? I have a family. You're not the only one. We're more than willing to make deals, but none can involve your escape. Hmm. But if you're telling us you'll beat someone for 10k, we'll consider it. Uh. Our families will find out we're kidnapped. Justice will be done. Of that I too, I'm certain. You cannot kidnap me and go unnoticed. We are aware. I suggest you enjoy the resort for the next few months. Nobody will come to save you. Nobody will hear you. Nobody will know where you are. Welcome to Inescapable. 
I feel like I'm going to puke or have a panic attack. Or in that order. This isn't real. This can't be real. I'm a lab rat for some sick fucks want to see us kill each other. Mom, Dad, please help me. Breathe. I can't. Harry, it's going to be fine. Look at me. Mia is a... I'm, I'm also calling it right now. Mia's a big sister. Mia has a family and siblings to take care of. She's the older sister. It's a horrible situation. But we're alive and relatively well. We will manage. That's an older sibling kind of mood to be freaking out yourself and immediately turn to someone else having a panic attack. You know, okay, calm down. It's going to be okay. Bad, but we will manage. Yes, sir. They said they'll provide food and take care of us. All we need to do is take a vacation for six months. Could be worse. Six months is a bit much for a normal vacation. But... Do what you want as long as you make this interesting. My welcome gift to you all are some pieces of information to start conversations with. All right. Be sure to check those out on your phones at your earliest convenience. We might provide more information the more you provide our viewers with entertainment. Don't go messaging us daily! We've got a job to do! Message each other! Audio! Adios. They're, they're gone. I wish this was the point where I'd wake up. If only I was a necromancer to grow you a spine, Harrison. Oh, wait, what? This is an opportunity to experience something almost nobody else can. Embrace it. However, I think the experience can wait. I personally feel exhausted after that. Gap. I did, Red. <laughs> Yeah, my whole body aches, and I still feel kind of nauseous. Music has been pretty solid so far. I like it. Ami thinks we can meet in the morning. Ami will make food, and we can talk. Ami would like to check the resort locations and get to know everyone better. All right. Oh, uh, which one's my room? Use the phone. See which unlocks. Sensible. And so, almost all scattered to their rooms. They're all handling this so well. Maybe it is a prank, after all. Maybe, it's, maybe it is a prank. Maybe it's a Mr. Beast video. I don't know. That's why they're not freaking out, right? Hey, Harry. I wanted to ask, maybe... Maybe you'd like to have a walk and digest all of this? A walk? I guess a walk could help. On the other hand, it would be good to see my room, get some rest. Let me try and gather my thoughts of what I could do, what I should do. So, like, everyone else literally went to their room? Oh, boring! You two want to come and have a party in mine? Uh, um, thank you. Eva, I think I'd rather have a walk. Harry? <laughs> She's so bubbly. Shit, what do I do? Uh. Yeah, we're gonna have to take a walk with Mia. Mia seems like a pillar, unmoved by the storm. I'm joining Mia. We'll catch up in the morning, Eva. Oh, boring. Is there any kind of save system in this? Uh, couldn't they kidnap a rave or something? I'm sure she'll get over it. The beach? Yeah. Uh, this isn't a prank, is it? This whole thing. Reality can be hard to accept. I'm sorry. How... How do you keep your calm? I feel suffocated, yet you're so focused. Yeah, understandable. Uh, honestly, I'd be inclined to do the same, but... Um... Out of everyone here, Mia seems to be the most well uh, composed, almost. I was just as devastated when I realized what was going on. The truth is, I was first to escape my container. Oh? I just didn't have the courage to leave it. Ah. When I pieced together what happened, I felt like an explosion shattered everything around me. I was left in the center of a disaster. Watching it happen. The thought of my siblings gave me some strength. I cried probably for a few hours. Then I got up. Nobody came to save me. I had to do it. I was impressed by how eager you were to leave your container. I think you have your own strength. And that's just from this short while together. I don't know if it's strength or more of uh, just blind panic. I'm just a... Uh... I was, and still am, impressed by how calm you are. 
Harry wakes up and just uh, starts running around screaming, Ah! Smashes his face against the wall. Smashes his face against the door. Door opens. Comes bursting out. Ah! I can organize a bunch of children. I'll be able to organize this too. <laughs> I like your optimism. It's contagious. <laughs> oh, that's my phone. Maybe it's those two sisters again. God, I hope not. Mm. No, it's Eva. Her texting is terrible. I can hardly understand. Why am I not surprised? I think she's saying her gift bag has a bikini and that we're stuck with one set of clothes. Uh. What? I'm not sure, but it's gotten curious to see what's in that gift bag. Maybe a good idea to go back and check. Six months with one set of clothes is uh, something. Or you're left with like several pair, several copies of one set of of one outfit. <laughs> Gotta keep up the set dressing after all. Annie wants to make breakfast. Annie invites everyone to breakfast with Annie. Annie found food ready to be cooked in the kitchen. I'm used to wearing trunks. It's nice of you. I'll come help. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Sweet. I'll be there. And he was big food alone. And he was to treat everyone. I kind of want to look around first. But food tasty. I'm literally going to die without emojis. <laughs> Let's not wander around alone. It could be dangerous. Investigating the premises seems like a wise choice. Then perhaps eating together first. And we'll check the area after. Works for me. See. Agreed. Ami is happy. Ami will start cooking right away. Everyone come here. Breakfast with a bunch of strangers. Stra great. Guess it's a good idea to get to know them a bit. Especially if we can't escape before the six months is up. I'm quite curious to know how the, uh... Topical! Quite curious to know how this these six months are going to play out gameplay wise so that's a lot of that's a lot of days I can smell the food cooking that must be the bacon and eggs I hope it's not poisoned or something hmm looking around everyone arrived in a timely manner it's all just so aux awkward silence guessing everyone is kind of hungry and by the looks on their faces everyone's on edge not that girl She's still fidgeting on her phone. A bit weird. She's just so joyful. Notification? Not my phone. Oh, hello. Group chat. Oh, hey, that's our group chat. Bios. What? What is happening here? Everyone check bios, lol. OMFG, who even wrote this? WTF, who even wrote this? Why is Sasha all over the place? It is a mystery. Where are you from? Not telling you. Is your name really Sasha Smith? Sounds just as basic as John Doe. Exactly. Ani likes what Ani. Ani likes what Ani has. Cut size, blood type. They should have put in more effort. Sasha, you don't have to be afraid. You can share with us. There has to be a reason why their info is obstructed. I paid them to do it. Maybe they don't know who Sasha is from. Maybe. Leave Sasha alone. Go under a blank. Go under a blanket. Cry, then film yourself. <laughs> Sasha knows. <laughs> Sasha gets it. WTF? Memes are my thing. Eva? <laughs> oh no. There's no clothes. There's no emojis. Cute bikini, though. I said pics later. AC. Like talking about lifesaver. XOXOTTYL. I, I did not even message you once, Eva. What are you doing with it? Feature currently unavailable. Character bios. Ooh. Ani is 19. Hmm. Ani is a people pleaser, incapable of establishing personal boundaries. It shows in her course choice of work. She's a maid by occupation and by nature, it seems. She's great with repetitive physical labor, but doesn't. But don't bother asking her to perform complicated tasks. 
Odd enough, she refers to herself only in the third person. Strong indicators of learning disab disability? Oh, hello. Went to say hi earlier, but fell asleep right after the opening stream. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Connor. How's it going? Don! Zotemilk. He's Dutch. Don is a gullible Adonis. That's a powerful sentence. As a professional cyclist, he pays meticulous attention to his health and fitness, and it shows. He's extremely competitive and has had high level success on the Dutch cycling circuit. What kind of game is this? This is. This is. Uh, this is inescapable. No rules, no rescue. It's really the best way to describe this is Zero Escape meets Danganronpa. We are uh, marooned on a tropical island a la Danganronpa 2. We are on camera and we are told that there is no rules. There's no rules. If we survive to the end of six months, we get 500,000 pounds. <laughs> Takes attention to his health and fitness and it shows. He's extremely competitive. High level success on the Dutch cycling circuit. He has a strong sense of conviction and is prone to borderline unhealthy levels of hero worship. In all honesty, he's a bit of a narc, really. Despite multiple attempts, our operatives were unable to gather intel on his strong aversion to avocado. Don. My man. My man. What? Also, when you say professional cycling cyclist, from Don's outfit, I get the impression of, like, uh, motorbiking? But when you say professional cyclist, is it, like, straight up, uh, cycling cycling? interesting. I could see it, though. Ava Tam, Estonian. 22. Ava is a D-list internet celebrity and Swiftagram influencer. Most of her notoriety is tied to the kebab my face beam and her appearance on Estonia's Charvamaja Char Char reality TV show. I butchered that pronunciation probably. Several months are rather extensive Expensive pursuit for fame with a day job as a makeup artist, which comes in handy for feeding her hobbies of partying, hooking up, and generally causing havoc and drama. Fun! Outside of her flair for her high school style dramatics, she's mostly harmless. Supplementary photos and video of all kinds can be found in her file as a number of our operatives ended up on dates with this basket case. Alright then. Francisca Car Carrasco. 32. Oh. Portuguese. Francisca is an automotive mechanic by trade and is the sole proprietor of a small auto shop in Braga. She's stubborn, strong willed and more than a bit fiery, but she seems to be good, God-fearing Catholic underneath their gruff exterior. I did not get that impression, but interesting. It comes from a poor background and was raised as a bit of a tomboy by her father alongside three brothers, much to her mother's dismay. This one has a bit of a chip on her shoulder when it comes to the whole uh, eat the rich thing, despite our operatives uncovering some questionable business ethics of her own. Huh. Giovanni, my man. It's a Naples based restaurateur and influential, influential politico. He's also the husband of Italian actress and socialite Sofia Bian Bianchi. Oh no, he's taken. He's spoken for. God dang it. He's rocketed his way to success and provides a rather lavish lifestyle for his wife and their two children. He was raised Catholic and seems to believe in traditional values. He also has a bit of a temper to contend with, which may make for must-see TV. Our operatives had difficulty gathering intel due to his extensive security, re security retinue and state-of-the-art state home security system. Harrison Finn Taylor. British, 23? Wrote the bill college dropout who spent the last few years as a mediocre bus driver. Okay, we did get that impression. Mediocre bus driver in London. 
He's easily startled and not much to look at, but at least he has thick enough skin to deal with the after midnight crowd on his bus route. It does take a lot of skin. It does take some very thick skin to deal with the late night bus passengers. Raptors have observed him moping about in public and generally, generally being miserable and making awkward attempts at sparking conversation. Oh, Harry. My bro. My dude. Isaac Ringwald, Norwegian. Jeweler. As it's a surprisingly well established jeweler and niche celebrity in the underground goth community. Considering his uh, melodramatic and ostentatious nature, it's hardly surprising that he swoops around cemeteries and goth clubs, reciting prose and quoting myths and epics. Generally myth and misanthropic, he detests celebrities, social media, and fun things like Christmas. He views himself as something of an iconoclast, and embarrassingly enough, others seem to agree. <laughs> You can get any sort of following on the internet these days. Understandable. Our operatives weren't able to determine the exact cause of the feud, but he seems to be at odds with the local church. Oh. Busy with God. Understandable. Lumi. Lumi cute. Uh, finish. A doctoral candidate in chemistry and molecular sciences at Helsinki University is held in high academic regard by her peers. This doesn't seem to extend beyond the campus, however, as she has no social circle or romantic partner to note. It might be because she's a bit uptight. She was observed by her operatives waiting five minutes at a crosswalk on an otherwise empty street and proved quite easy to tail due to her absurd height and uh, oblivious nature. Our analysts were able to tie Lumi to several pseudonyms currently being used to publish research. Articles on chemistry-related subjects. 189 centimeters. Compared to... You're the second tallest... Here. So far, Lumi. Interesting. Programmer? Yes, programmer vibes. Maria Strauss. German. Maria is an unemployed programmer living at home with a number of siblings. She recently resigned from her job as a front-end developer at a software company. She now passes her time playing video games and watching an odd assortment of true crime and children's TV shows. That's an interesting mix. That 5'9", that's not that tall. Okay, true. She appears quite fond of carnivals and festivals, but proved among the most difficult contestants to track due to her constant vigilance. Hmm. I mean, fair. It does put her in the top range in this in this cast in terms of height, but yeah, that's that is just five nine. I am taller than Lumi. Sasha Smith. Ah, Sasha has no known home address and no fixed residence. Instead, they're constantly on the move across Europe. They seem to have a soft spot for dubbed movies, especially in German. Sasha's profession is technology-oriented. They provide unknown freelance services to questionable clientele, including some of our own. Hmm. A great deal of effort and money was spent by our operatives to keep tabs on their movements across Europe. We should probably have, followed, we should probably have just followed the trail of cigarette butts. I do kind of I do kind of like Sasha. They are the fun kind of mysterious. Valer Valerie Dolins. Dolins. Yep, Valerie is the heiress to a massive French perfume business, Vive la France. It comes from obscene wealth, and with it comes an ambitious and demanding nature, and no small sense of sophistication. Raptors weren't able to identify her engaging with any potential suitors, and our analysts didn't pick up any chatter regarding other scandals. We were able to observe a strong distaste for sweating, and a heavy reliance on a few trusted servants to assist her with daily duties and handle her shopping. She seems remarkable. Despite that uh, not self-reliant, she seems... First impressions, Valerie seems remarkably competent. Almost. Not my phone. Anyways. Come on, gee, this is boring. I'll literally die if nobody says a word. Let's talk about stuff you like. I'll start. I like makeup, fashion, TV shows, koftas. Ugh, I really like kebabs. My biggest strength is my personality, duh. Clearly. 
My greatest weakness is that it's hard to perfect perfection. <laughs> oh no, that attitude just screams, troublemaker. Do you find yourself perfect? How quaint. There is no such thing as perfection, you fool. Maybe not like perfect perfect, but I'll never settle for less. So like fake it till you make it, yes. Yes, queen. That's the spirit. Work hard, be your very best. Like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my I cause. Like competitions, group workouts, cycling, and making friends. I'm a pro cyclist, the proest, flex. That's it. Flex. I hope he's not going to be too competitive. Thanks for sharing. I'll go next. I like drawing. I'm an aspiring artist. I'm a junior coder. Oh. I am good at organizing and management. I have lots of siblings, so like a lot of varied activities. Francisca? Oh. Car mechanic. I like parties, good coffee, football. Party. Women don't have any idea what good football and cars are. Okay, Giovanni. <laughs> I wouldn't trust a woman to fix my car. Oh no. Oh no. Giovanni, no. I do my job great. I'm good at fixing cars. So I'd be still rampant even in this day and age. Let's not argue over such simple topics. Everyone can like cars and football. And hey, couldn't help but notice Lumi and um Sasha are quiet. Would be a great opportunity for you to continue. Still confused why Sasha gave us the wrong name. Quiet for a reason. I pass. I'm just listening. Just one tidbit. One small thing. Tell us about your badges at least. <sighs> I like tinkering. I'm an engineer. <laughs> Pastafarianism is pog. Earth's a triangle. Pastafar <laughs> Pastafarianism is pog. Super. Thanks a lot. Lumi? <laughs> Mia's just completely gonna bounce off of that one. Don't blame her. I follow social norms, but prefer minimal interaction. I already presented the most crucial information about myself. My hobbies revolve around my studies and green solutions. Green solutions? Head fins are cold. That's good enough for now. Thanks, Harry? M me? Why me? You're one of the group. Um, I guess I like a lot of stuff too. Shows, games, escape rooms, pizza. Uh, mm. That's about it. Um, uh, don't feel comfortable with sharing more. Uh, too much social pressure. I will continue from that abysmal performance. <laughs> oh. As heiress to a great perfume industry, my hobbies revolve around the elite of society. Naturally. I have no time for trivial activities. However, fine dining, cheese and wine, mm, magnifique. Vive la France. I know he's boring, like me. Me too, Red. Me too. All right, I love cheese. Okay, Dan. I'll miss swine. Maybe they'll throw some in the ocean for you to find later. All right, all right. Gio will miss swine too, but he wants to be next. All right, Gio. From Monica. Her cooking skills are no match for me. Okay, Gio. <laughs> not what I meant. So you're a chef. I'm astounded you do not know who Giovanni Lombardi is. Gricky. <laughs> Ragazza, you must watch TV. Huh? Some washed up celebrity? What does Ragazza even mean? You might know me from my wife or my famous restaurants. My chefs make the best lasagna al forno nepaletana. Chef's kiss. He talks with his hands too. How oh, stereotypical. Mm, where's Annika with the food? Soon, Kido, soon. Any hobbies? If I should have engaged. Football, like any man up there. Cars, of course, and good quality clothing brands. Driving expensive cars, no doubt. Those are not hobbies, but I'll just stay quiet. I mean, hey. Darkido, you're next. And so the wheel turns. I prefer to be a mystery. One clue unveiled at a time. Okay. Aside a good mystery, I enjoy history and messing with the timelines. <laughs> like some watch repairman. Something similar, but not quite. He's kind of dramatic. That's underselling it, I Harry. I hate to spoil the surprise of what the future holds. I hope the future holds some food. I am starving. <laughs> Annie heard that. Annie is now bringing food. Okay, Annie. You're the last to share. 
Ani's here to share food. Uh, food for everyone. Did you really just kya me? He's bouncing so many plates on her arms. All while holding two jugs of orange juice? OMG, yes! That looks delicious. Don't you need help? Oh, no. Ani is very strong. Ani can do it. This is one of Ani's hobbies. Ah, yes. Juggling? All right, woohoo! That's cool! Oida, Ani meant serving people. Ani loves being a maid. It's the best thing Ani can do. Overachiever or workaholic? I don't really see that as a hobby. But if you like it, what else? Yeah, Ani likes to knit, go to Fika, eat goodies, and watch TV. I don't know what half of those words are, so I'll just smile and nod. He's just like me, for real, for real. I don't know what those are, but maybe you can teach us. Overachiever, workaholic? I mean, can it not be both? It can be both, twin. It can very much be both. To some degree, some kind of mix of both. Uh. Hmm. Fika is a, uh... Fika is a Swedish, uh, supreme coffee break. Hello, Chris! There's not being kind. Oh, no. What I what? Eat goaties, watch TV. Oh, Annie will, but Annie thinks everyone needs to eat first. Uh, thank you for the food, Annika. I'm ready to devour. We stay humble, we devour. The, hum the food is quite delicious. So M we're splitting to check the area. See, see. OMG, delish. I am very much interested to see what this island has to offer. This island does not seem like your aesthetic, Isaac, but okay. The kitchen has me interested. I want to see what we're working with. Checking what provisions we have sounds like a good plan. We can trust they will keep their word and send us food. I see no reason why they would break their vow. Torture. Illegal experimentation. Blackmail. Fair. Highly unlikely, but we'll have to wait and see, won't we? When they're when we're reliant on them for, uh, uh yeah, <laughs> yeah, is <laughs> that gothic twink? Understandable, but uh, he is very extra. Watch out! For, watch out for the raptors! They're an early game hell obstacle. It's settled then. Split up and inspect the premises. Try to avoid using the group chat. We might be monitored. What, my home? Can that be an option? No? Hmm. Guess I'll look around, too. Ooh, hello. Investigation phase. Oh, is this a map movement? Okay. Map. Alright, let's explore. Is the map available to us so far? The kitchen. I do like this. They come up as like uh, game pieces almost. I wish there was some kind of... Uh... When did this game release? I do not know. Yeah, re yeah release date on the Steam page still says coming soon. Though still in development, of course. The... Uh... Demo only released, like, a few days back. I suggest you draw up a list with expiry dates and record all the current inventory. Hmm. Right, it's already it's all already well organized. Oh, Boyo, come to check all this food. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Well, well, I want to see what the situation is. I don't want to see what the situation is, too. I was surprised to see so much food. Every drawer is stuffed. I think I'm cold meats to rare spices. 
anything. Hehe. <laughs> There's lots of alcohol too. <laughs> For us sake. Now we can get drunk and forget about this merda. Uh, no, thank you. I'd rather be sober in case something else comes around the corner. These, however, curious that the pantry is filled to the brim. Am I too paranoid, baby? I need a hard time deciding what to make for our first breakfast. I was overwhelmed in the morning. Hey. We should take turns to make food. Make a list. <laughs> Why would we take turns when we have a maid and a restaurant owner? Ragazza, Gio cooks only for Gio and his kids. Oh, Jesus, credo. Oh, you have kids? She asks, she asks about kids, but isn't faced by his selfishness? Believe Gio and this. Serena, Serena, and Andrea. I love them more than I love my car collection. Yeah. Annie can cook every day. It's going to be just like Annie's job. See, so Giovanni's a restaurateur, so which means he has multiple restaurants. Famous chef. By virtue of owning multiple restaurants, he no longer actively cooks in any of them. He just manages his fleet of cooks in each restaurant and their teams whatsoever. He's a... Is he Guy Fieri? He's good. <laughs> I'd say he's more... Uh, Italian Gordon, Ram Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> More, not like to more. Uh, like, I'm trying to think of someone past Gordon Ramsay on the uh, wholesome famous chefs to uh, stuck up famous chefs. Like Guy Fieri's on the wholesome side. Gordon Ramsay's closer to the middle. I need someone who's on the stuck-up, selfish side. That seems more where uh, Giovanni falls. Uh, I'm trying to think of someone snobbish. Uh, Wolfgang Park! And, uh, <laughs> Wolfgang Park, maybe? I don't know. Joe for Master Chef. Oh, God. Joe for Master Chef. Hate that fucker. That's probably someone I can... <laughs> <laughs> That's probably somewhat accurate, Red. Honey can cook every day. It's going to be just like Annie's job. I don't think it's fair. That's a lot on the shortest one woman. Joe Mama twin. The uh, uh, ma Master Chef is they have uh, like chopped, chopped. They have the ro like rotating panel of judges. Uh, Master Chef. They have a uh, like a recurring panel of three judges. One of them is Gordon Ramsay. Uh, oh. One of them's a decent dude. One of them's this the obnoxious, uh, bald Andrew Tate-looking uh, fucker. Who's like always con always condescending on everything he fucking tries, and he has no no meaningful experience to back it up. Joe Bastianich. Condescending little fucker. That's, uh, taking turns is the mature way of handling this. Are you legal, Val Valeria? Filha? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your, your question has diverse answers based on your understanding of legal. I presume you inquire about my age, to which, yes, I have just turned 18. She looks the youngest. She might actually be the youngest. For this. You can probably take care of yourself, then. I was five when my siblings and parents stopped babysitting me. <laughs> I know that I would be able to take care of myself even if I were younger. Annika volunteered to keep her position as a maid. I see no reason to invalidate that. Not everything's bad. Most people get paid for that kind of work. Not the worst idea. Is 500k not enough, kiddo? I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't mind. Really, Honey would feel bad without the job. Hey. We'll spread tasks. Quirky will be one of them, and we'll help one way or another. <laughs> You're optimistic this situation will not escalate negatively. 
What choice do I have? Take things as they come. No reason to despair. We're not dead yet. My friend would be, out would be outraged if I were to die. I suggest you ensure I survive. Well, I think everyone's family would be outraged. You are not the daughter of one of the richest men on earth. That's because I'm a guy. Not the last idea. But you're not the only one with a rich family, kiddo. Hmm. Will either of your rich families come get us? What the? Maybe they captured you for maybe they captured you for ransom. This shouldn't be absurd. Probably not. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. Oh, don't know about you, but I'm poor. I guess I'm not an heir or a famous restaurant owner. Looking back. Hey, um, I'll let you handle the food situation. Mia mentioned rationing. Maybe it's worth it. Fish. We'll figure something out. I like you, Francisca. Honey is happy. Oh, honey wants to make food tomorrow, too. Come early. Oh. Time is passing. Time is passing. Can we... Anything to examine in here? All right, let's go check out this gang. There we are. Help me, Mia. Maybe you can do that later. I'm sure there are still plenty of locations to investigate. Oh, a gym, and Don's already working out. There's lots of things here. What the? It's just because giving me first to die vibes like spoiler and beyond. I hope not. Uh, I wouldn't have expected to see a fully equipped gym. See, if I had to take a rough stab in the dark at who might be first to die, my money my money would be on Annika. I wouldn't have expected to see a fully equipped gym. This looks better than most places in London. Uh. Totally unprepared. I didn't bring any good outfits for the gym. Ava, are you one of those gym influencers? Or, like, have you dabbled in the whole gym influencer thing? Hey. Yeah, it's great. I really wanted to train for some sports. I would take Donnie with my life. Fair, understandable. I respect that. I. Ani, des Ani deserves good things. Wait, gym outfits? That's why I'm always prepared. Already dressed. Uh, that is so... I will certainly not lift, lift a single one of these items. Sinful lumps of metal. Uh, Don, perhaps we can see who's interested in coming to the gym with you. But I would like to see the rest of the resort before we get stopped. Bit uh... not giving Oh. Uh, sure. It gets me hyped, though. Hmm. Are they really being honest about us just enjoying the resort for six months? With no extra trickery? Super. I actually did a workout today. Hell yeah, me too. That's uh Although I guess I'm I'm more of a uh like I have an exercise bike, so I'm more into the direct uh, the cycling nature of things. So hey, we can we can relate, Don. That's my plan, exacto. Six months of all-inclusive vacation? Yas. Does she even take this seriously? Mundane. Indra taught me to be vigilant. Anansi spins her webs with chaos. It's weird to have the front of your legs hurt, but hey, they gotta work out. That's a, yeah, that's a good sign. Indra? Anansi? Eh? Uh. I think I ate that once. Ugh. Poor lad, too much protein powder in the brain. How absurd! Deities of mythology, intriguing characters with a lot to learn from their stories. Right. You mentioned you, you mentioned you like history. Are you a historian? Oh, the mm. master knows. Nay, an artist with a particular talent for jewel crafting. Oh, that sounds interesting. Like yeah. Wow, indeed. You do great in one of my videos. Let's let's collab sometime, lol. Ha. You're like a game character. <laughs> I'll be the agile. I'd be the agile one. Swoosh. Swash. Allez, zoop. Bouncy guy. 
He's quite energetic. Makes sense given he's a cyclist. Anansi was the guy who's a trickster spider. Yeah, true. He's. I presume I ought to be the scryer then. Like a seer? Divination is the strongest form of magic after all. Well, Isaac seems like the type to just sort of drop these references casually to for the aesthetic. <laughs> I'm usually, the, I'm usually the wise leader when I roleplay with my younger siblings. <laughs> I am the charisma, duh. What would I be? Quest giver? Paladin? I mean, let's be real. If we we're playing in character as Harrison in his current state of mind... Ooh, fanservice idea for Anansi? Ooh, interesting. Tell me more, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, rather be an, I'd rather just be an NPC. A quest giver of sorts. Why turn, why turn to service? Why turn to service, friend? Fanservant, as in uh, fate fanservant. I presume, Chris. It makes me smile when I see people succeed. Oh! oh. Why would you miss the opportunity to be the main character in your own story? Oh, I thought fanservant meant uh, fanservice. <laughs> okay, understandable. Really, it's not a very de developed idea, but uh, my story involves a lot of people, but it is my story. Like viral. Secretly, even introverts love spotlights. You'll see. Why are you giving me those eyes? Don't know. I kind of like being in the spotlight and winning too. Sure. I'll consider my spot story a success if all the people involved are happy. Let's say, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I know we always say jokingly that uh, he so me for real, for real, but like. Legitimately, that's my mindset a lot of the time. That's my mindset a lot of the time. That's how I've always seen myself. Like, I've always been seeing myself as the side character who... works to see the main character succeed. I appreciate the mentality, but you can be a hero and still support everyone. Be your best, so you can be the best in everyone's lives. But, hehe, <laughs> let's not turn this into a philosophy discussion. Have you checked with the rest? Yes, but I'll go check some more stuff myself. We'll turn the round and call it a day. Keep in touch and make sure you get some rest, too. So you can be, essentially be slotted into any class but Berserker if needed. Third Ascension absolutely has eight limbs. Ooh. I could see that. Here's the power gang. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I can do that. And <laughs> checking plants and Sasha's on the phone. The gym does look hype, though. They're probably avoiding the rest of us. Should I... Why not? Let's ask. Right. I see they have some sort of garden here. You folks are taking your time. How's it going? Anything to report? Thinking this rationally. The plants will require maintenance. Most are decorative, but some are fit for consumption. <laughs> oh. So you think they're having us planning on having us do gardening? Um. It is likely. Gardening sim? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. She's not really paying attention to me. Arthur's still focused on the plants. And Sasha's just ignoring us. Rude. Sure. 
You're fond of plants. Some of them do look beautiful. Quite exotic. Huh. Only for research purposes. Oh. Looking back. Well, some plants are very useful. Like aloe. I think that one over there is aloe. It is indeed. Mate. Uh, that's my conversation dried up for the day. Um, good talk. Sure. What about you, Sasha? Sasha, found anything interesting? Look here. Nope. Of course. Not everything's bad. Can I ask you why you told us different names? Not like anyone has secrets, right? Nope. Oh, <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just curious. Look here. Yep, you're rude. Oh no! We don't want to be the rude guy here! Oh god! <laughs> Sorry, if you'd explain, I can avoid doing something offensive in the future! Mind your own business. You're not offending me. Looking back. I have traits, friends. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be by mistake. Oh, Harrison, quit while you're ahead. You've got to quit be while you're behind. Quit while you're behind. Quit while you're behind before you fall further behind, Harrison. Fucking hell, Harry boy. I don't give my name because I don't know any of you. Don't plan on making friends either, so whatevs. Has nothing to do with my gender. Fuck. <laughs> I don't see a boat coming to help us. Maybe it'd be better if we were friends. Not everything's bad. Well, I did. I assumed it's probably a topic like a dead name. <sighs> this is. This is. Hmm. Like Tears for some. Right? I don't care. You don't have to walk on eggshells. Mate. Just to share your story. <laughs> they just got done saying they don't want to be friends. Ain't nope. A bitch. Uh, mm -hmm. Then what do you think of the garden? Give me some sugar. Honey, Hanukkah can, and Lumi can take care of it. Harrison, my dude. Harrison. See. Very well. You sound like she has no choice. I'm not going to be a knight in shining armor, though. Harrison, my dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's... Harrison stepping on all of the toes here. Sure. He's trying so hard. He's... <laughs> He's doing the awkward, uh, trying so hard to the point where he is uh, completely tripping over all of his toes and uh, trying too hard. Trying too hard to the point where he circles around and ends up being unintentionally awkward and Probably a little offensive. What are you doing on the phone? Look here. You forgot us to tell us. You forgot. You forgot to tell us your hobby is being an investigator. Mind your business. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. Maybe I should go. Ooh, girl. Bye, girl. Bye. They'll warm up, right? Mm -hmm. They'll warm up. Maybe once you chill. going to be our dining hall for six months. This place needs a total makeover. LOL. I would have already been like, okay, good conversation. Bye. Yep. Honestly. <laughs> this girl has too much energy this early and she's late. Good morning, Miss Pam. Good morning, Annie. Uh -huh, and I said before, just call me by my name. Who's messaging me? Puzzle. I almost forgot. Did you have some sort of puzzle to get out of the container? <laughs> Sorry, I get protagonist syndrome. Understandable. Yeah, like connect the lines, logic puzzle? I had an observation puzzle. I had to break down a chemical formula. I didn't have a puzzle. I had to run very fast and increase my heart rate. Interesting. It seemed like they were tailored to us, sort of. Interesting indeed. <clears throat> Good morning, Eva. A bit late, but glad you joined. That would be all of us. Since we're all gathered here, I think we should discuss some logistics. Maybe Sasha will like hang out with the girl they were with, Lumi. Because she doesn't like talking much. Yeah, that's just uh, just no thoughts, no thoughts, just vibes. Honestly, I could see that. <laughs> Sasha hanging out with Lumi. And actually becoming friends with Lumi because Lumi is the least intrusive of the people here. 
least likely to bother them. And just willing to chill with them. Yeah, you can see that. L logistics. Until we figure out how and if we can leave the island, I suggest we meet at breakfast daily. Honey can make breakfast every day. <gasps> can you like make pancakes each day? Honey can. We are not beasts to eat the same meal each day. I need a perfectly tailored meal each day of the week. A variety of dishes would be required. Yes, ma'am. Why? I can't eat pancakes daily. I need more protein. Eggs and bakey. Some people might have allergies and dietary restrictions. Can't agree on breakfast. This has started well. Let's leave the menu to be discussed at a later point. Could we focus? We can take notes on who can eat what and when. Okay. And, of course, what's available in the pantry. OMG, first major crisis. What if the food sucks? We checked the fridges. It was good stuff. I think more pressing matters would be the lack of food. We were told that's being taken care of. Remains to see how, yes? Just going to turn into some sick game of hunger. Next point, Blondie. Yes, although call me Mia, please. No. <laughs> a few things to discuss over each breakfast. What was done yesterday, what will be done today. Hmm. If someone needs help or if there are any questions. Me, who eats Cheerios, Cheerios every morning. <laughs> Interesting organization skills. Where did you learn this? By being the oldest oldest sibling and seemingly ostensibly mother figure. Thanks. Scrum meetings. Ah yes, that is true. <sighs> that is true. Mia was also a front end front end developer. So probably in her time of employment went through daily stand ups. I like that Mia's well organized. Great plan. Uh, by all that, you mean routine, food habits, exploration? Plans? Our focus will be to understand this island. We have plans, we're not just vibing. What are all the facilities and possible hidden secrets? There are undiscovered rooms, which has uh, bathrooms and showers, apparently. And an escape route, right? Huh? 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 Was on everyone's lips, but this guy is really as subtle as bricks. I say we are a diverse bunch with probably varied skills, but I'm the most skilled of them all. A maid who can cook and clean, two smart individuals with science and math knowledge, a bodyguard, and much more. Bodyguard, <laughs> survive uh -huh. in our favor unless they suddenly release tigers in the jungle. Don't tempt fate, Isaac. I think there's more important matters if that happens, honey. She, 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 she's cute. At least she's cute. Thank God she's cute. Nevertheless, I scry great success for us. And in six months, it will rain with riches. Sister said enjoy. Yes, yes. This place is a resort. Fancy frou frou things. Frou frou. I say we do that. Enjoy, enjoy. More vibe. Right. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. What's the worst that can happen indeed? Bruh. Hmm. The worst. <laughs> the worst. Yes, kill. And why not? Lumi. Maybe we can salvage some materials. <laughs> honey can sue. Yeah. Hello, Harry. Would you like to share your skills? Uh, my skills? Sure. Mm. What sort of skills are we talking about? Um, I think that would be helpful for our survival on the island. Honey is happy. Honey can do house chores. Accurate. We said hard, hard cut to a dead body. Just sudden Danganronpa esque dead body reveal. Both of us have first aid training, for example. I hope that will never be you. I hope that will never be needed. Mate. Jack of all trades, not a great at anything, but I know a little bit of everything. But analyzing and optimizing, I guess that's not really a survival skill, but I learn really fast, so if someone teaches me, I'll pick it up. See. In terms of survival, 
Finding means to cover our basic needs takes priority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to know what that means. Um. Shelter, clothing, she sleep, food, and water. Basic human needs. We should have a safety net for everything. Lumi is planning as if we'll be here for six months. Honestly, good on Lumi. That thought alone scares me. Uh. Covering our bases sounds good. I never know when the producers might do us dirty. I'm looking more into it. Have a good day. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bye. <clears throat> oh no. Who is hanging out where? Don is here. Hmm. It still is irking me that I don't seem to have a, uh... Save function. Yep, kitchen time indeed. What's going on here? Is that so? I think we'll get more entertainment soon. <laughs> they did mention people get unlocked by playing the game. Super. Till then, how about some sexy truth or dare? <laughs> I mean... Uh, uh, <laughs> what could go... Oh dear, what could go wrong? Mm -hmm. Oh ho? I have no interest in that kind of game. Look here. Dunno, not in the mood. Uh, I can't survive with just phone music! <laughs> I don't even have that yet. It's not like that. I don't have much on my phone either. Not even games, but everyone got Sudoku. Hmm. Seems we do not all start from the same base. Like viral. Think they totes gave bonus points to people who like make friends and stuff. I thought I was quite friendly, but I have no such privileges. I thought I was quite friendly, but then I uh, gestured towards my conversation with Sasha earlier. Then I realized that I am in fact quite a fool. Is that so? <clears throat> <laughs> Everyone has Sudoku, you fucking dick. It came for you with your phone. Sasha voice. Everyone has Sudoku, you fucking dick. It came for you with your phone. <laughs> I don't have Sudoku. Where is my Sudoku? Dang it. I want Sudoku. Maybe I can hook the fridge to the, inter <laughs> the internet or something. Maybe I can hook the fridge to the internet or something. Okay, Sasha. You have to install... You have to get... You have to get Doom running on the fridge. Yes. I, I, I believe in you, Sasha. You gotta get Doom running on the fridge. I can understand my... Update my, Swip, my Swiftagram, then. Or look for help? Alright, day four catch-up. Good morning. Sit down. Eat, eat. Yes, Dad. I have a name. Me and Dan still sleeping. They're missing breakfast. Ami hasn't seen them the entire morning. Oh? Ami will put foil on the food to keep it warm. How elusive. Perhaps they've eloped. I hope not. It better fucking Don't not have. like, even joke about that? <laughs> the hot stud is totally mine. You can have him. I really hope nothing bad happened. It's unlike Mia to be breaking routine, I feel. Someone like Dan could easily overpower Mia. Oh, no, I'm concerned, because they were... We didn't go visit them, but they were together. All day yesterday. Can she also get Udo on the fridge? Absolutely. Don't worry, don't worry. The Broyo's probably <laughs> looking for his bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Broyo. Broyo. A simple guy is easy to trick. Blackmail and yes. That's what I'm thinking as well. There is a possibility the producers are manipulating him. With no rules, the worst could happen. Dan? No way. His pronouns are he, him, bro. <laughs> He's innocent. I, I do love you, Sasha. This pronouns thing. I don't understand you, kiddo. <laughs> okay, Boomer. OMG, not this again. Let him rant. Doesn't bother me. Rant? 
I say nothing but truth. Oh, no, no. You pretend you're not a girl or boy. Okay, Giovanni. You have some drama. Giovanni? Well, tell me. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm none of your business. Rude. Giovanni does have, does have an old school mentality. It doesn't help the situation. That, Professor Maple. I just like to wear whatever I want without people bothering me. Fashion is beyond what is considered standard. One step ahead of peasants. However, what you wear is a tragedy, dear. <laughs> like, look who's talking. Mon dieu, I do not have time to get kidnapped in something more proper. <laughs> the exterior is what we present to the world. First impressions matter. I didn't know Giovanni was my therapist. Oh, God. <laughs> Doubt psychopaths on the internet care for what you're wearing. First impressions matter. Says the fucking... <laughs> wear a dress if you stop being a bitch about it for five minutes. LOL. Ava of all people gets... Gets no, it. No. Shut up, Giovanni. Man must wear what is made for a man. Okay. Didn't it, your father teach you? We have more important things to... Oh. Wait. <gasps> Mine bit too. Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm probably a bit stuck in the... I'm probably a bit stuck in the old ways, but he's definition of it. Eat my food in silence and look for Mia and Don. Okay, let's get out of here. Hey, I've been trying to call you. Everything okay? You missed breakfast. You know when you see this message. Where are you, Mia? Said the gothic twink, yes. Hmm? Mia, I'll be right there. What? Hi, mate. Hi. What, what are you two doing? There they are, both of them. Seems unhurt. Be that I worry and get out a bit out of hand. Had me worried. I thought something happened. I'm sorry. I didn't want to use the phone. It's uh, most certainly tracked. If a man buys a dress, it was made for him. Hell yeah. Don will go find Giovanni. Meanwhile, let's look around. Well? Huh? Why? Did you lose something? Cameras are everywhere. I'd rather talk without being hurt. Hmm. I think there's some even more beautiful flowers in the back. Did you discover something? We'll explain everything once Don's back. What were they cooking? Where could we go? Even the jungle has cameras. Man buys a dress for himself. It was made for him. I doubt they have eyes everywhere. Plus, we'll keep quiet. What are these two cooking? Can't see any cameras here. <clears throat> it's far enough. Now. Tell me what you want to talk about. Guys, we found a dock. And there are boats. Uh. Hmm. Boats is in a chance to escape boats. Dan found the docks when he was jogging. I was first to wake up this morning, so he showed it to me. Believe it. We're going home. Hmm. The two diables, they will figure out our plan. And there will be punishment. Not if we're really careful. We could do with a diversion. Madre di Dio. We don't know where we are or how far we are from land. Very true. I noticed that birds are flying by, which means we're close enough to land. There's a chance Lumi knows more about this and we can figure out a direction. The boats were basic. They'll need improvements if they're to take us far. Are we talking like straight up? Paddle boats? We'll need Sasha and probably Francisca to have a look at them. Meredith, or, hmm. What would those two know about fixing boats? Oh, shove it in your oh shove it up your ass for a moment, Giovanni. What do you know about fix what do you do about fixing boats? Not the time, mate. Hey. If they can help, we take the help. Yeah. This is a team. Going to the Good on done. Might be too obvious. Best avoid it today. SMH at those basic boaches. Let's hmm. get everyone in on the plan, but do so one by one. And be careful not to raise suspicion. Precisely. No phones either. And always in whispers. Hmm. Harry pal, take Sasha. Oh god. Uh. Why me? Sasha doesn't like me. Because I'll talk with Francisca. Don and Giovanni can take the rest. Not to offend you, Giovanni. But I don't think Francisca or Sasha like you. I mean, I'm not offended. I don't like them either. I'm a proud asshole, says Giovanni. To cover our meetings. As for diversions, 
Don, Giovanni, do you think you can have a pretend fight? Pretend? All right, can do. Special ops, Don. I guess the fight will keep the cameras away for the rest. Much more fun to have friends who have them than have one yourself. I'd say fair. Both are like, <laughs> you like throwing them in water. Oh no, red. Time to service red. Seems like a massive gamble. One wrong move and we're fucked. Guess I'll go talk with Sasha and we'll regroup later. Alright, time to. There you are. I was looking for you. Pretend I'm invisible. Can be the best actor you can be, Ari. There's something in the fridge I wanted to show you. A cream pie. Uh. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh God. There's something like that. Da, da, Harry, you silly. I'll pass. Not actually interested. No, look, it's something Annika made for you. You're a terrible actor, Harry. She saw your spaghetti monster badge and had an idea. Hmm. Did you write a note? Okay. Thank you. The fridge will cover us well enough. What am I looking at? I just needed you a moment without the cameras. Had to improvise. Yeah, figured. What's up? Follow me after this. We found a safe space where we can talk. Don't try any funny business. I'm well prepared. <laughs> Terrifying, but understandable. I don't trust your ass. I don't trust my ass either, don't worry. Yeah, uh, understood. So, I was thinking we can thank her by making a garland of flowers. Yep, she's a pastafarian. Over here. Pasta fa the f <laughs> er sorry. Non non-binary. They're past they're pastafarian from their opening uh, establishing character moment. Pastafarian pastafarianism is pog, the earth is a triangle. Their gender is none of our business. Can't help, be, can't help but feel a bit paranoid. What if Sasha turns on me? Or worse. Making a massive gamble here. Just remember, I can't trust anyone. You're planning either a murder or an escape. Jesus. The latter, actually. How did you figure it out? Sus behavior avoiding cameras, desperately trying to draw my attention. You can't do stealth for shit. Understandable. I'm trying. It got us this far. What's the deal? Mia and Dan found a dock with some boats. We're preparing an escape plan, but the boats will need some fixing up. Damn, Protein Brain got lucky. Where do these boats be? Somewhere south of here, but it's best we don't go there today. There might be cameras, and the producers might find out what we're plotting. Why would they leave a dock with boats for us to find? That's a good question, honestly. This seems hella planned. They got the right idea. Not being able to do stealth, uh... <clears throat> yeah, very easy to miss pronouns when you're talking to the person directly and miss, miss their intro. Yeah, it's... Also... <laughs> you, you, you also missed, uh... Harry's awkward conversation with Sasha earlier and trying to understand Harry pulling the uh, the, the the terribly cringe uh, the terribly cringe uh, awkward ally card of uh, I have trans friends and and, and, and uh, this is the thing <laughs> and Sasha just like fuck off I didn't tell you my name or my gender because it's none of your fucking business dude they're probably not expecting <laughs> us to try and escape from what I understood, the boats need fixing, and we need a direction. We were hoping you and Francisca can help out with the boats. We'd first need to see them, but buoyancy is easy to achieve. The tricky part is patching them up, but Chica might know how. Chica, I mean, Francisca doesn't know of the plan yet. Everyone is being informed one by one, subtly. Giovanni and Dan will act as distractions so we can go undetected. We'll probably need to act fast. Get food, get materials, skedaddle. That's so cringe, Harry. Y yeah, Harry is, Harry is a... Harry is a cringe fail disaster. He's doing his best, but he's very cringe fail. Food? We don't know how far land is. We'll 
need water and food just in case. Sasha proves to be a font of information. They really think of everything. I wonder how they became so knowledgeable about survival or, well, planning. Details to be ironed out while we're fixing the stuff. Once they notice, we're probably on a timer before they rush here. Is it weird to me to feel like Sasha's accent, like, sounds... Brooklyn... Brooklyn-esque? Is it that weird for me to say? Rush here? How would they even do that? By a helicopter, maybe. We got here somehow. New York. My guess. They're walking here. <laughs> is by ship. Hey, they're walking here. The two dicks probably have a team ready to intervene. We just don't know how fast. When well, I think about this, the more I'm getting cold feet. There's many things stacked against us. It's also the fact that we might suffer repercussions for our uh, actions, as the two said. Suddenly. I feel like this isn't that great of an idea after all. I'm gonna say I I I do really enjoy their accent. Yeah. I've seen dudes <laughs> take dildos twice the size of their arm. Terms of service. If they've got that courage, so can you. Terms of service, Sasha. Please. Disgusting. Please don't say that again. Man up. <laughs> Wheels are in motion. I'll take care of checking the boats. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> How? When? You don't need to know that. Just make sure nobody's snitching. They seem quite good at moving around on their own. Bloody hell, I didn't even think of that. Everyone wants to escape. I'm sure of it. You got cold feet, Harrison, but on socks. Yeah. I'm not. I'm certainly I'm not. We'll see about that. Have Ani got prepare our food after breakfast. <laughs> I'll do my part when we've got the distraction all set. It would really help if you could share what you're planning. Fuck no. That's not my style. And I don't trust you. Understandable. Rude. But understandable. I can't pretend that three people with their heads in the fridge whispering is a bit ridiculous. Uh. I can't believe they took something that's mine. Oh? Francisca, whatever they have, the police will help you get it back. We have more strength out there. Here, our hands are tied. We are at their mercy. Caralho, grande merda. Can you at least help out with the boats? You can remain here if you want. You don't have to leave. But help us escape so we can bring help. Hmm. <sighs> mm, that, yes, I can. Okay. I'll talk with Sasha. They'll handle the boat fixing. Valerie had an idea about direction. I think Dan and Giovanni are about to fight. So we're about to get moving. I'll help Annika carry the food. You talk with Valerie. She's in the garden. All right. All right. Valerie? Every everyone has their reservations. Heck, even I am not sure this is going to work. I haven't even seen the boats yet. So certainly that we haven't been ratted out yet. There's also no word from the producers. All this gives me so much hope. With each passing hour, we're getting closer and closer. Hmm. Val first, anxiety after. Bonjour, mademoiselle. How's your morning? Overwhelmingly dull. This is not a resort, this is torture. I've requested additional pillows, but I have yet to receive an answer. Okay. I have something that might interest you. A little bit of gossip? Hmm, she is not interested. How pedestrian. I am not interested in mundane topics. Ah, yes, of course. Very good. She's really making it hard. I like Sasha's instinct more. Mr. Cambridge left, but it's pretty far. I don't think it'll pick up a whisper. Mia mentioned you have an idea about our direction. The movement of birds is an indicator. Okay. Considering the weather, sun, dawn, and twilight, I have a calculated guess. Valerie, I didn't know you were a sciencey person. I received the best education in my private lessons. Do not be surprised. I'm Lumia well versed and studied. Prediction. All right. However, it is unknown if we ought to travel for a few hours or a few days. It depends on the reliability of the boats, I imagine. I'm unaware of how swift the boats will be. Sasha took that into account. We're getting all the provisions we can. I shall wait for you at the docks. Do not be toddy. I will inform the producers if I notice hesitation or an attempt at betrayal. <clears throat> oh, wow, all right. Both ironic and unnerving. I guess that's to be expected. The snitch would probably be spared. Even I am tempted to say something. Harry, no. 
It's, it's probably just the, just the desire to get home that keeps everyone from telling. For now, time to witness the fight. Mate, not cool. Everyone should put their weights back. Merda, bro, haven't you heard of no rules? Oh no, gym bro fight. Of all things they could pick to fight about, it's the gym. Do something and make it believable enough. You can still be a nice guy even without rules. Rules are there to protect the weak and hinder the strong. Oh my God! <laughs> Time for the epic beatdown. Oh God! And literally, okay, literally, oh shit! That's quite the chokehold. I hope he's not actually hurting Don. Oh no! Oh no! They're fighting! The boys are fighting! Scandalous! That should draw some attention. It's probably what the producers were waiting for. Right back at you, brute! Come on, Don. Let's see those cycling legs. Give us a give us a Luke give us a Luke Kang bicycle kick. I go, Anika and Mia. Chica, Chica should give me a sign at any moment now. Yes. I mean, no. Wait. Ooh, fight naked. That'll make it better. LOL. Ava, mood. May I suggest sand in the face? Pocket sand. But. That's my cue. Oh, this stuff is heavy. Where'd they get all the planks and rubber? Yo, yo, Boats! Fuck your fucking time. What are you, drag queens? What? He got a bit lost. Can't believe all of this was left here. <laughs> Ava should be saying law as a word, not as an acronym. The boats yes. Look quite neglected. <clears throat> Can they even take us across the water? Show us the boats. Show us the boats. Why they didn't bother with them? Are they even fixable? <clears throat> Think we'll have to get stuffed in them, but they seem fine enough. <sighs> We'll see in water if they work. There's also two that are already in the water, and they seem sturdy enough. One of them is gonna need some raft like add on to keep the balance. Okay. We can tie the two of them together to make that happen or something. That seems reasonable. Around. Let's get started. Alright, let's get oh, started. By the way, where did you get all the materials from? What? Why is Drag Queen meant to be slow? I. What are you, drag? Hmm. I don't want to presume. Once again, that sentence made no sense. In this, like, the only... All the dolling up they're doing... Yeah, like, the only thing I can... The only way I can interpret that sentence is maybe, like, you're thinking, like, like all the dolling up they're doing, perhaps being in heels... Engine room? And should I found around the docks. Maybe they left them here for us to fish. OMG, hi guys. <laughs> this is so effing exciting. First arriving. Anya feels bad. Anya didn't get to say goodbye. To send them a postcard. They can dance. That can hey, that's true. That's true. How are the boats looking? Giovanni and Don look quite roughed up. Let's try a good tussle. Like they can float. Don't know for how long. Figuring where we're going yet. Good command. Splendid. Ah, oh yes. Val, Lumi, and I all agreed we're going west. Huh? Where's west? That way or the other way? Nature provides information. Moss on trees. Sunrise and sunset. The North Star. Hmm. Hmm. Sick. Everything all right? What's on your mind? Are you afraid of boats? Oh, yes. My expansive mind reaches corners you shouldn't know of. Pay no mind. You've been acting a wee strange since yesterday. I hope it's just nerves. So, like, how long is the trip? It's not quite possible to tell how far we are from the nearest landmass. Some birds migrate for more than four days. Used with caution, we have <laughs> enough supplies for that. Help us put the last boat in the water, then load them evenly. All right, woohoo! Excited! Jump! Oh, oh yeah! Do we throw the phones away? No, we might be able to send an SOS. Didn't look into it yet. Just keep them closed. Closed? Well, why closed? My phone's on. Because they might be listening on the mic and track us. Duh. Mon Dieu, my phone has been on this entire time. Missed. That escaped me. What the fuck? Ah, fuck me with a cactus. 
Why? Oh, we compromised. Why didn't the sisters intervene then? Uh oh. Maybe, maybe. Or they were too busy with other shit and we slipped under their noses. Or we're still within their uh, projected plans. Heal impact. Let's get the hell out. You guys, we should sing sea songs. This sea shanties, oh boy. Much better than anticipated. I am surprised. Hey, like how about we talk while paddling? I have a schedule for my uploads. Maybe this is all part of the fun. Yeah, like... Maybe this is the first arc of the show. The boats look good. So the boats are here to sort of lure us into trying to escape. It seems Chica is coming with us after all. That is surprising. Nice. We're doing this. We're going home. Honey is done securing the cargo. Honey tied it very well to each boat. Good job, Honey. Everyone jump in. Day five evening. How would see? It's been quite some time. The island's got so much smaller. How long do you think we've been sailing for? Sailing? Mate, this is intense exercise, not gonna lie. Good thing we got you with us, then. <clears throat> Reckon roughly two hours, based on the sun and my count. I ran out of song ideas. Can't we turn on the phones just for like a tiny bit? If we do, it's for me to fidget with, not music. Anyway, I think we can still battle for a while, but we need to swap. Everyone but Valerie can help out. Dan and Giovanni will certainly cover most of the distance. Let's have a break soon. Swap Dan and Giovanni. Ani should have packed more high-protein food. Are there sandwiches? Ani can make you one. Uh. No, all right, thanks. Ava and I are next. And we can work with that. Time passes much slower than I have to row. Me and my dang noodle arms. Keep fighting, Harrison. Like so much worse than Pilates, WTF. Like, why didn't we bring electric motors? Ah, yes, of course. Oh yeah, let me just shit one out. No landmass in the distance, and the island is starting to fade away. Sasha is delightful. I love them. Ami wonders how do we know where to paddle without the island. The night sky can help us orientate. Paddling through the night? My ears, I don't know. We have food for days. Trust. Days. <sighs> Let's take a moment to orientate. Orientate? Orientate what? We don't know how far we have to paddle for. Uh oh. Here we go. We're baffling. I want to go back. Take <clears throat> me back at once. That's a straight up raft. Wait a moment. We know that birds. Failure, we're not birds. I can't do this. I need to go back. I have too much to lose. Hmm. Oh no, did we really miscalculate this? I think the probability of success has drastically decreased. We should return. Probably. We can't return now. We got so far. Cheer up. Let's sing. Let's sing. Oh God. Annie's scared. Annie doesn't want to sing anymore. Yep, we've hit our break. We've hit our breaking point. We've hit our panic point. Can you stop screaming? And so our great escape turned into chaos. As expected. How boring. I'm totally freaking out. Hearts, like, you're smart. Tell me you got this. I got like a plan B. I um Harks. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Take me back! Let go of the paddle. We can still do this. Everyone, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Let me think. Just stop for a moment. Stop for a moment. Breathe. Everyone breathe. The more we panic, the worse off we will be. It all went undetected because they knew we can't escape like this. They're probably laughing their asses off right now. You're probably right, Sasha. Jesus. <laughs> Dang it, a V3 moment. Yep. We are going back while we can still see the island. Can we really not escape together? Maybe the better question is, can I even survive this? Ooh. 
And there we have it. Death Ocean of Despair. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is certainly... So what, we went through... Uh, all of five days here. Let's say... The projected time frame of the game is six months. That's, that's a lot of potential, yeah. Has uh, some interesting character dynamics. I like the is it diverse cast. It's certainly a diverse cast of interesting characters. It's gonna have some very uh, interesting clashes. I'm looking at you, Giovanna, with your uh, quote unquote old school mentality and your uh, very uh, clear uh, misogyny. <laughs> But this is a very uh, interesting cast of characters. I guess what what I'm most curious about is it, it, it did seem like five days progressed pretty swiftly of sorts. It seems like if anything this is going to progress through several. Story beats, narrative arcs, of course. It's a lot of there is a lot of potential here. I'm very curious to see where where this goes. But I'm quite curious to see how we handle the whole uh, six month time frame. <clears throat> it very much feels like like. Are we really going to fit the six? Six months. In, uh, yeah. Oh god, the Yugen Fates Fourth Lost Belt. Yeah, that, that, that is a really quick, that was a very, very powerful time progression cycle, but. It did move very quickly through time progression. I imagine that... Uh, I imagine that... Uh, it is going to be... In terms of narrative paths and narrative branches, it all depends on... Uh, how you choose to spend your time. We've seen that there are obvious... Uh, Like, there's obvious uh, points where you can progress through a day without being able to meet with everyone in particular, so... The potential for narrative branches there... Potential for, uh... Plenty of re replayability, uh, Just seeing different character events. I'm... I was still looking for a save system that does not seem to be present. Although maybe that's just not present in the demo. But yeah, I'm really curious to see how we handle... Are we going to go through 180 days in full? I guess it's possible, given the uh, range of time that this covered so far, but I could also see there being a lot of uh, time skips, perhaps, depending on what goes on here, but curious. Very curious. Very interesting cast of characters there. And yes, I did. I'm I am very I am very behind in my uh, fate. I I'm still working my way through Heian. Heian Kyo. I have not started the new Lost Belt yet. And Twin, I did see your question, and I have not gotten any farther in there. I Time has proven to be a very uh, in short supply for me lately, but it's still bookmarked in my tabs at home. 
but alas. Okay. So where are we at here? We did make about two hours, all in all. 